Hey, thanks for tuning in. My name is David Swan. I just wanted to thank all the different individuals that have been supporting me over the years, whether it's financially or praying for me, or just even being willing to connect for coffee. Um, as you can tell if you follow me on Facebook or just the different online platforms I have, it's been an amazing last couple of years working at both adult and youth residential programs. And though I've also gotten to see God work in my own life, it is so beneficial when I see other people on the same healing journey. Um, if you don't know who I am, a little bit about me is I used to struggle with drugs and alcohol for a number of years. And in that time, as God was starting to line things up for me and show me more about myself, I began developing a heart to help other people in the process. And a certain memory for me that's really significant is one of my best friends who lost his wife to an overdose. And so when I was going through the Village Oak program, this individual came in who lost his wife. And every day I used to see him break down and go through different challenges. And it was such a significant experience seeing all these different guys come around him, encourage him and lift him up and just be those concrete supports for him in that time. And that was a time that really God used to kind of capitalize on putting me in ministry and just give me the heart for other people and seeing them heal. And so um, the last couple of years I've been training and getting my credentials as a counselor as well as doing my diploma and some other long-term intensive trainings and just prevention crisis as well as even all the way to working with couples in addiction. And so that has really been preparing me for the work that I'm launching into. And anyways, that leads me to tell you guys some really exciting news. And I just want to say first and foremost, I am super thrilled to be back in the Fredericton area. Uh, just great people around here as well as an awesome strong community background. And as I came back to Fredericton, I asked God one question. I said, God, what are you doing and how can I get in on it? And so as I asked him that, I started feeling the prompting to go downtown with my barbering bag. And as some of you know, I'm a trained barber, not licensed, but it's just a really gifting and a habit that I developed over the years. And so as I went downtown, I started getting clearance into seven different facilities, whether that was rehab centers, homeless shelters, or safe havens for women. And as I got down there, I just realized that my connections just continued to expand. I started meeting all these different agencies, meeting with church pastors, and it was really nice because I felt I was piecing the blueprints together for my next adventure. And as I was down there, I got connected to a ministry called Soul Care. And Soul Care is a Christian nonprofit counseling center that provides sliding scale services as well as pro bono services and pricing for people who just can't find coverage as well as can't afford it. And so I love the heart about this ministry because it's something that I'm, I dearly support as well as so many people in addiction, they can't find the coverage as well as even with the numerous of people that I've sponsored when they go to addiction services or to the government services and they're so busy that they're, they end up on 15 to 18 month waiting lists. And so as I was connecting with them, I found that they were counseling in the surrounding areas of Fredericton, whether it's Heartland, Woodstock, Moncton, St. John, etc. Um, our insurance covers it all, as well as doing psychoeducational workshops on recovery related topics as well. And it's been super neat to be coming into alignment with them and just see what God is doing. And the cool thing is we're recognizing a need. I never think there's enough mental health services out there, nor addiction, or even pastoral or Christian services. But the thing is, is the great thing about ministry is we all can work together and do something different and actually meet those needs for people who are in a desperate state. And so something that I'm doing for my new project as I go into this new adventure of pursuing my hands-on requirements to becoming a Canadian addictions counselor is I'm actually raising my own support as a missionary through going to different churches, doing my own mail outs, and using this Facebook page as a way to update different individuals just on the ways that I'm getting my hands dirty downtown, whether that's through homeless outreach with counseling or through barbering ministry where there's now two of us going down to cut hair. Anyways, I want to thank you for taking the time to review this video, and even if you shared it as well, I thank you for that. And I hope someday, if you'd like to get involved or even just connect some time, you can check out my number on the page, or you can even send me a message. But thank you, and God bless you.